Hello and welcome to Clever Touch Learn at Home with me, Ryan. Uh, I was going to be joined today by Fraser, my son, but he's practicing some social distancing at the moment. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use our Lynx uh, desktop software, which is free with your Clever Touch screens, just to show you how you can play a really simple maths game called Dotty Six. It's nice and easy, nice quick game. All you need for this is a dice or a die and some pen and paper. Okay, it's a really easy game that you can change in a lot of ways to make the game more exciting. And I'll show you that after I've shown you how to play the game. All you need is, like I say, is your dice and a grid that looks a little bit like a noughts and crosses grid with nine boxes in to start with, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is, the rules of the game, I'm going to use my pen over here to fill in the boxes. Now, I can only put up to six as a total in each box. What that's going to do is help your youngsters to get used to dealing with lots of small numbers and adding together uh, lots of numbers up to a total of six. So it's really going to get them to use, used to using small numbers but in larger quantities, okay? So the first thing you have to do once you've drawn your grid is roll your dice. We've got number six. That means I can fill in one of my boxes over here with six dots. I'm gonna roll the dice there. That's obviously gonna be the other player's turn, the other player who's not here at the moment. I've got three dots here, so I can put three dots in any box I choose. And I'm gonna to continue to take turns with my partner. I've got three dots now. So what I can do now is now I've got three dots is I can either choose to put it in a separate box or I can choose to put it in this box and finish this box off. Now that box has got six dots in it, I can't put any more uh, dots in that box. Here's a five. Five dots in this box. I've got a six, doing quite well with the sixes today. And you can see this is quite a quick game, nice and easy to pick up. And what you'll notice is you'll start to develop some strategies as to where you're gonna put your numbers, okay? As you're going through the game, I'm doing really well with the sixes today. Hopefully we get some numbers in a minute. <laughs> okay, he's doing really well with the sixes. So what you can see hopefully in a minute is if I get some other numbers. Wow, five. I can't put a five in there. I can put a five in here. Or quite with the strategies, you could be thinking now, what do I want to do now? Do I want to fill up this box or do I want to put it over there? I think I'm going to fill up that box. Here's a four. Nice and simple filling this up. Obviously, what we can ask your kid now is, well, what do we need to finish up this box here? Is a, is a six any good? No, because it's too much. Can we put a five in there? No, we can't. And obviously, you're taking turns of three. Still too much. Um, we just keep rolling the dice, taking those turns. Or oh, now we can get a one. We can put that in there. Could be asking your child, what do we need now to roll in order to finish up this box? And obviously, hopefully, we'll get a one at some point. There we go. And you can finish that game. So nice, oh, you'll leave another one down there as well. So nice and simple, but you can take turns. And as you can see, it's a nice turn-based strategy game where you can start thinking about what you need um, in order to place and finish up your boxes. A couple of ways that you might want to uh, vary this game just to add a bit more interest once you're used to playing it. You might want to increase the number of dice that you've got. That way you're rolling two dice at any one time. So you could then decide on filling up two boxes at any one time. Or you might decide actually if you've got enough, you can start filling up different boxes at different times. Another way you could change this game is to work with a larger grid. Obviously that takes up more time with your kids and that's all what we're looking to do at this point in time. And another way you could change this game is even personalize it a bit. Maybe add in a letter, maybe your initial name, change the shape of the grid just to make it a little bit more personal for your children as well. So that's a nice, easy, simple game called Dotty Six. That's how you fill it, dotty dice, uh, playing it with two to three dice, maybe using a larger or a different shape grid, or trying different totals for each box. So that's really our game for today. Nice, simple, quick activity. You've been watching Clever Touch Learn at home. Thanks for watching. If you go onto our Clever Touch website, you'll be access, able to access a load more videos just to keep your children a little bit busy at home. Um, you'll also be able to find uh, the login details for where you can sign up to Snowflake Live and get loads more interactive activities. So you've been watching Clever Touch at Home, learn at home with me, Ryan. Thanks for watching.